there, welcome to another Hidden Gems. Today we are talking Ungar S Channel Plus. Now, what makes the S Channel Plus different than just the S Channel? Well, it's a dog-eared, factory dog-eared channel. So you see those bends right there? What does that do? Well, that allows to minimize the detailing, if not eliminate it completely. Now, if you remember, on my channel, I did a technique called middles first on a door just like this. And so what we did, with the accelerator as we came down we did the, our middles first cut up like that down that side down that side and after I did that I made this bold and brash statement you cannot do that with any other squeegee not the wagtail not the ninja not the super channel nothing you cannot do it you may be able to do it with a dog-eared brass or dog-eared aluminum so the question is, is that true? Now you'll notice that I did say maybe with a dog ear channel. So something you want to keep in mind or just know uh, before we I do it, I have the rubber cut flush, absolutely flush to the ends right here. Absolutely flush. Now this can I can already see that this is going to present a problem potentially. The channel is rounded and this corner, this little triangle right here, sticks out past the corner. There's no support for it. And so what that will do is potentially cause lines as you're turning. Let's, uh, let's test this out and let's see if this channel can also do the same thing. Number one, can it achieve zero detail? And number two, can we do the middles first? So let's uh, let's go to it. So we're just going to cut up like this, down like that, cut up like this, down like that, and you see that there is a line there. This actually turned out very well. Okay. Uh, so let's let's try it again. And the reason that I have these cut flush is that you want as much support on the squeegee as possible. And then what's different from this compared to the accelerator or the liquidator is you can, you can have the liquidator like this, trailing edge. You can't do that because now uh, it's a square edge and so you're missing, you're going to be leaving a line down the side like that. So you have to make sure that it's absolutely flush to the frame and you can hear the aluminum on aluminum which is not ideal so perhaps I'm gonna have to test this out you cut it just a little bit past so that you're not getting that scraping noise come up here and then what I do is I might just chatter back I can see what I'm doing wrong here. Uh, what's important here is your angle this way. You want to get that pretty much as close as you can to the glass. You don't want it up like this because then you'll start getting skips. And then when I 
go into that corner, I gotta bring it up like this to get it nice and square right in the corner. And then you gotta keep it that way all the way down. And then you will get the zero detail. So, I tested these out. These are a keeper for me. These are a hidden gem. And uh, if you want to use these instead of uh, the liquidator, then this will be a good alternative to try to achieve zero detailing. Just and just one other point to keep in mind, as we said with the dog ear channels, I think I have here a 10 inch. I'm using Unger Soft, I'm using the rubber that came with it. I would definitely recommend using a harder rubber. And don't really go, I would say don't go larger than a 14 inch channel because now you're losing the effectiveness. If you have big, you know, uh, five foot by six foot windows, use a regular channel. Just use a regular channel, it'll be easier on you. And, uh, you'll just find it so much more effective than trying to use a dog ear channel to fan large portions of a window. But let's see if we can do the middles first on this one. Like we said, uh, no other squeegee can do this, except perhaps this type of squeegee. So we'll come up like this, square to the top, wiggle down, tuck that corner in, come up square, but you're gonna have to bring it up like that down like that, tuck that in, square, bring it up to get square, and you'll see that there's no the, no detailing there, no detailing there, uh, but you just, you're, you are going to have to hit the sill. I would highly recommend this tool, uh, there will be a link below to find it at the shopwindowcleaningresource.com store. And I said that this is aluminum, it's actually stainless steel, okay? The handle and this are both stainless steel. So uh, it's gonna be attractive, it's gonna be high quality, durable. It has a nice divot for your thumb on the handle. It's the Unger Ergotech handle with the spring clip and teeth, just like the liquidator standard uh, handles and then you can lock in, you can lock it in and it has these ridges so that you'll get perfect center every time. This has been the Hidden Gems, Unger S Plus channel. Check it out, windowcleaningresource.com, shopwindowcleaningresource.com. I'm Jordy, this is Hidden Gems, we'll talk soon.